Hello everyone, it's Sunday, December 7th, and thanks to the patience of Fancy, our dog who's on the couch there, I'm moving forward in search for a nonviolent future. I want to comment though on one statement that I made about the Karen Ridd story, because I said, in our usual way of thinking, we have no way of understanding what I just explained about the touching of the humanization and so forth. And of what I now call our usual way of thinking, unquote, is usually referred to today as the old story, the framework, the worldview through which we see things. And I was just reading an article by Tom Engelhart, who was part of the massive public protests against the impending Iraq war in 2003. And he points out that those who were protesting the war were exactly right. They could have saved trillions of dollars, millions of lives, gotten us out of this dreadful fear of terrorism that we're facing now. But the people who were wrong about the war are being listened to and they're still calling the policies. And the people who were right are absolutely ignored as they were being written out of history. And that's because of that worldview, that paradigm, that is a way that we see the world. It's the window through which, the lens through which we see the world around us. It screens out the power of nonviolence and accepts only the pseudo power of violence. One of the results of that is that we're always judging things in terms of very short term results. And therefore, we're lurching from crisis to crisis. So I was going to talk a little bit about what we mean by violence, that it is a human phenomenon that fancy back there may chase rabbits and even do very uh, unpleasant things to them. But I wouldn't call that an act of violence because she doesn't have a choice. It's her instinct. And violence means to bear in the violare, the Latin word that it comes from, means to bear in on something with force. And a uh, later definition in classical Latin of the word violare was to insult, damage, or violate. So violence, by definition, violates something that could be. And uh, only human beings have the capacity for true violence in that sense. Only we can be violent uh, because only we can be nonviolent. So those are the thoughts and definition I want to leave with you this weekend. I hope that you're reading along with me through Search for a Nonviolent Future and that you are enjoying it. And if you come up with questions before or during or after the part that I'm talking about, please let us know. We've been enjoying your comments. And until next weekend, if you have found this of any interest, you are invited to join the experiment. Thank you.